Today we're going to be talking about tingling in your arms, hands, legs, and feet. Hi everybody, Dr. Brittany here with Bloomington Wellness Center. Today we're going to be talking about what you can do if you have tingling in your arms and hands or in your legs and feet. So I've had tons of patients coming in lately that have told me that they've been to physical therapists and medical doctors and everybody else because their hands always fall asleep when they're sleeping or they've got tingling and pain going into their legs or their feet feel like pins and needles all the time. It's really common when that happens that most of us jump to the conclusion that I have carpal tunnel in my wrists or I have sciatica in my legs or that kind of thing. The important thing to remember is that when you have any trouble with tingling anywhere in the body, there's a good indication that it's probably a nerve problem and the most important thing to remember is that every nerve that supplies your arms and your hands and your legs and your feet starts in your spine, starts in the spinal cord and then those nerves um, exit the spinal column and then they travel the path down the arm to the hands or down the legs to the feet. So it's really, really important when you evaluate why that's happening that you look everywhere what I call up the chain. So you want to check the wrists, you want to check the arms, you want to check the shoulders and you want to check of course the spine and the back and the neck or your lower back, hips, legs, knees, and feet. So very important anytime you have this kind of thing going on to have it checked out by again either a medical doctor or a chiropractor or a physical therapist. But it's really important not to let anybody tell you right off the bat that you need surgery or anything like that. Almost always in these cases, especially if it's a recent thing that just started happening, it's something that simple conservative care like chiropractic treatment, sometimes a massage, a lot of times physical therapy can help take care of pretty quickly. And a lot of the times it's just something that you're doing at home that we can probably change or alter your daily routine to make sure that it doesn't keep coming back. Click here if you'd like to see more related videos and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel.